Hey guys, it's Brian coming at you with this week's men's topic. And this is a great one for men's groups, for any guy who wants to be a good husband, a good dad. This is actually a great conversation men to have with your teen sons. So let me just get right to it. Just because it's not playboy doesn't mean it's not porn. All right, so let me just tell you what happened last week with my wife and I where we've got Netflix and we're thinking, hey, let's let's watch something good on Netflix. You know, the kids are off and school started and so we've got some time we're like let's let's have some good bonding time and let's watch something on Netflix together so we're surfing through the channels we're surfing through the options and we come across something I'm not going to name what it is but we come across something that we had heard about from some other people and they said hey this is a really good show and so we said well let's give it a try we start watching it oh my goodness it was straight up pornography. Now, I don't know what you consider to be pornography, but if people are having sex on TV and pretty much showing most of it, I we were we looked at each other and we were shocked. You know, it was people that we know that told us about this show. All right, now I'm not trying to be some prude. It's not like, you know, I just think you shouldn't watch any TV although that might not be a bad idea. I just was, I was blown away and I, I got to thinking, I thought so many people, you know, when I was younger, so many people, it was so clear, pornography was something that you had to go get, you had to go reach behind the counter, you know, it was something that kids would sneak because they saw their dad's magazine or something like that. I don't know if you have stories like that, but back in my day, pornography was very inaccessible and if you had a porn problem, you knew it because you went looking for it. Today, if you have a porn problem, you might not know it because you're just doing what everyone else around you is doing. That is so crazy to me. So listen, here's my challenge to you, men. Men, you've got to lead in this. Guys, if you're a husband at home and you want a strong marriage, don't watch this porn junk on TV. I mean, a few days later, I'm surfing through Netflix and I find another show that I'm thinking, oh, I heard this was really good too by episode two, straight up pornography. My challenge to you guys is this. Have the courage to turn off the TV when you know it's right. Guys, don't put it on your wife. Man, if you don't do this, I talk about this with my 13-year-old son. I want to be honest with him about the stuff that's out there because pornography can destroy your marriage. Pornography can destroy my kid's future marriage. And it's crazy to think of the culture that my son is growing up in. And if I don't lead him and if I don't lead by example, then there's no way he's going to be able to survive and turn the TV off when he knows that it's not right. It doesn't matter who's watching it. It doesn't matter how popular it is. It doesn't matter what name it has, what channel it is, what station it is. None of that stuff matters. You know it when you see it. And when it's junk, turn it off. So sorry, I got real excited about that because it means a lot to me. I want to make sure that we've got great men, great dads who are standing up for what's right. And you're not just doing what everyone else is doing just because everyone else is doing it. Now, again... Use the questions below. If you've got some men in your life that need to talk about this, I'll put some questions below this video so you can have the conversation. And men, dads, if you have kids at home, boys at home that are ready to talk about this, teens at home that are ready to talk about it, get into this topic because it's an important one for everyone out there.